Chance the Rapper made history in February when Coloring Book became the first streaming-only album to win a Grammy. A huge win for Chano, indie artists, and streaming. But with no album sales, how did the success of Coloring Book translate in Chance's wallet? And what does it mean for other artists who want to go that route? The first thing to know is, not all streaming services are equal. While almost all of them keep their paper stream rates top secret, According to a 2017 estimate, Spotify is on the stingy side, paying an average of four-tenths of a penny per stream to rights holders. On the high end, you've got Jay-Z's Tidal, which reportedly pays almost triple that amount, around 1.2 cents per stream. So what do all these pennies add up to for an artist? Well, it depends a lot on who owns the rights to your music, you or your label. Unsigned musicians like Chance, on average, keep about 60% of their streaming revenue. Meanwhile, artists with massive record deals, hello Adele, only get to keep about 20% of their streaming revenue. So even though Adele's hello has been played almost five times as much on Spotify as Chance's No Problem, her hypothetical check might not be a whole lot bigger than his. Of course, she still has millions in album sales that Chance doesn't, plus all the other perks of being on a label. So even though streaming payouts remain super controversial, those numbers might give a little hope to other artists who want to follow in Chance's streaming-only footsteps. 